we got some more details to talk about, and I'm not editing that out. I just wanted to re <laughs> redo that there. We got some more details to talk about about these UFC limited edition Ultimate Series figures. So I got the ringside collectibles pulled up, and I also have um, a tweet pulled up, well, a screenshot of an Instagram post that was tweeted out. <laughs> but it's all the same. But uh, we got more info on these UFC figures, which is very, very nice. Um, so earlier in this week, uh, well, l l let me backtrack. So back at Toy Fair in uh, February, uh, we got a uh, leaked image, sort of, of a Conor McGregor UFC action figure. Uh, it was revealed that Jazzwares would be working on UFC action figures. Um, we didn't really get much detail at all. It was just revealed that that was going to happen. Um, and then I honestly forgot about it because it had been so long that um, they nobody had said anything pretty much that these UFC figures were coming out. Um, and then I believe it was Sunday night or something like that. Or no, not Sunday night. Maybe Tuesday night? Um, I don't know. It, it, it was in the last few days. <laughs> um, we got Ringside Collectibles tweeted out. That uh, it was like, oh, tomorrow you can pre-order the new UFC uh, limited edition Ultimate Series action figures. And I was like, oh my god, I completely forgot about these. Um, so we've gotten silhouette pictures of everybody in the series so far. Um, which, for those of you who don't know, is Conor McGregor, Daniel Cormier, Donald Cerrone, John Jones, Max Holloway, and Khabib. And then there's also a uh, Donald Cerrone in different color shorts, which is a chase version. So pretty cool. Um, but we have not seen what these action figures look like, minus the Conor McGregor because of that leaked or purposely revealed, I don't even know picture, I don't even know where I originally saw that Conor McGregor picture um, all those months back, but besides that Conor, we don't know what these figures look like, uh, we obviously can have an idea because of the Conor McGregor, but we don't actually know, you know, what Khabib's going to look like, what DC's going to look like, you can kind of get an idea uh, based off the silhouettes that they gave us, um, but you know, I'm going to assume, and like I said, this is just me assuming that with Comic-Con loom looming in a, a couple of weeks, I'm sure, like I was talking about last week, plenty of reveals are going to be going on for all companies uh, that make any kind of toys. So I would assume that maybe Jazzwares is saving the official reveal for what these UFC figures look like and possibly upcoming lines of the UFC figures for um, where they can make a big splash, that being Comic-Con. Obviously, excuse me, Comic-Con's not actually happening. Um, it's just obviously the Comic-Con at home this year. Something's making like a rattling noise. I don't know what it is. Is that it? Okay, I just wanted to... I think it was my candle hitting the wall. But uh, I'm going to assume, like I said, that that's where Jazz wears will reveal... And I, again, assuming... Um, don't don't get mad if I'm wrong. But assuming that that's where Jazz wears will reveal what these UFC figures are going to look like. I'm hoping um, because uh, obviously they went out for pre-order. But besides the fact that we had silhouettes and the names of the guys... We have absolutely no idea what these action figures look like. So it would be nice to see what you're getting in the mail if you pre-order these figures before they actually come in. And obviously that's going to happen. I'm just making a wise-ass comment for no reason there. Uh, but obviously they'll reveal the, what these figures look like before anybody gets their pre-orders in. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. And like I said, if they just wanted to, you know, put them up for pre-order to kind of build the hype um, pretty much a month out from Comic-Con, I don't know. A, a, the puzzle pieces are, are are you know intersecting if you're asking me so that's my prediction for when we'll see what these figures look like is comic con who knows maybe we'll get it sooner maybe we'll get it later i don't know but that remains to be seen but besides that um i was reading i was you know looking around on ringside collectibles i um, looking at some of the details for the action figures so we got some more detail on what's going to be i guess coming um includes with these action figures each individual action figure obviously some will be different than others you know some might come with this stuff some might come with others i don't know this is all just me giving looking at the details that we have speculating around them and just making you know predictions and uh you know discussion off them i guess um, but if you go on Ringside Collectibles, click on any of the UFC action figures. Um, in the description, um, after you know they say the description about the action figure or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you get an includes list. Um, so I'm going to read that down right now, and then we'll talk about it. So, um, including with uh, I guess any individual UFC action figure that you purchase um, is of course one six-inch UFC fighter figure, two removable heads, uh, one removable UFC belt, or Unique figure, or excuse me, fighter accessory. Uh, one pair of removable UFC fight shorts. Two sets of removable hands with UFC gloves. One fighter specific flag. Um, and that was it. I, uh, <laughs> I said that as if there was something else after that, but there was not. Um, so that's um, all Ringside Collectible says that these figures are, um, or that is including with these figures. So to run, now that I've run down the list, just to go down and kind of depict, or not depict, 
completely the wrong word, um, dissect, that's what I'm looking for, each individual thing, one six inch UFC fighter figure, that kind of goes without saying, but obviously for, uh, they, they obviously have to include that, but obviously you're going to get one individual figure, so that makes sense. Um, you get two removable heads, which, very cool, um, one of the biggest things with WWE Elites nowadays is that, you know, that's up Mattel's ante when it comes to making those figures, that they come with interchangeable hands and interchangeable heads, and, uh, more accessories nowadays that relate to the figure, um, so that's a big deal, obviously you saw in that Conor McGregor picture, if you haven't seen it, you just type in UFC Conor McGregor action figure on Twitter or Google, I'm sure you'll be able to find it, um, but you'll, you'll see he's, obviously, has a head on, <laughs> and then there's also a removable head, or, you know, just a loose head standing in front of him, so that makes sense, interchangeable heads, two removable heads, very cool, um, you have one removable UFC belt or unique fighter accessory, so obviously this would, this would, um, state that, you know, each figure is either going to come with a, uh, a UFC championship, um, obviously all the UFC titles look the same, so it doesn't matter which one, you, it doesn't matter which one you call it, they're all just the UFC titles, um, or it'll come with a unique figure accessory, which I'm not sure what that really means, um, I mean, you know, obviously it seems like the, based off the silhouettes, it seems like the cowboy Donald Cerrone will come with a cowboy hat, so I guess, you know, maybe that's what they mean by unique figure accessories, so like he's not going to come with a title because he's going to come with a hat, um, the Khabib silhouette, um, assuming that's Khabib, but it would make sense, um, you know, as he's wearing the, the wig and holding up a title, so I don't know if you'll get, like, a both situation, if that's what they mean, you know, I'm just trying to just depict what, uh, unique fighter accessory means, um, but I'm assuming it's just little stuff like that that, you know, relates to the one specific guy instead of a broad, uh, scheme of things like, uh, like a title would, so, I don't know, we'll see what that means, but I'm gonna assume it means, like, little accessories like that, hats, wigs, um, Shirts, maybe I don't know. Towels, I don't. I'm just, I'm just making guesses, but we'll see. Um, we have a uh, one pair of removable UFC fight shorts, which is very cool. Um, but I'm interested to see whether, because obviously, if you've seen the Connor figure, you know that it's a cloth short that he's wearing, um, instead of like a painted on version of the shorts. I'm not really a huge fan of the cloth shorts, so I don't know if um, one pair of removable UFC fight shorts means you can take that pair off and there'll be a painted version on underneath, that's what I'm hoping for, um, I just want to be able to remove the, the fight shorts, but then there's just, like, plain black trunks to cover up their junks, <laughs> didn't mean to rhyme that on purpose, um, but I don't, you know, like, I, if, if they're gonna be removable UFC fight shorts, I hope there's a painted on version of those shorts underneath, because I feel like that's gonna look cooler than, in my opinion, than the cloth version, I don't know, we'll see, that's speculation, but I'm assuming that's what that means, um, two sets of removable hands with the UFC gloves, that's fine, maybe there'll be different color gloves that you can swap with, you know, whoever, to put on, you know, whoever you want, so that's cool, um, one fighter specific flag, which I thought was very, very cool, I thought that was the coolest thing listed here, um, so, you know, I assume that means each fighter, um, uh, you know, e each figure is going to come with their own fighter specific flag, um, so, you know, there'll be a Connor flag with the Connor McGregor action figure, there'll be a Khabib flag, a DC flag, a John Jones flag, so, that's very cool, that was honestly, like I said, one of the coolest things that, that, that was listed, I wasn't expecting that, that seems like a, a, an extra added accessory that they really don't need to even put in there, but it's, bring, it's one of the things that brings it over the top, makes it even better, makes it even more worth it, so, it's very interesting to see what those, uh, are going to be look like, if they're going to be cloth versions, or if they're going to be, like, you know, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Mattel's put out, like, plastic versions of flags with some of their WWE elites in the past, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they have, but, we'll see, but that is, uh, what Ringside Collectibles, um, some more details Ringside Collectibles had to offer on these UFC figures. But to jump into even some more detail on these UFC uh, limited edition Ultimate Series action figures, um, my man, once again, Jeremy Kahn, coming in with some more info. Now, he posted all this info on Instagram, but a uh, shout out to Wrestling Fig News on Twitter, Wrestling Figure News Source. Um, they actually, excuse me, tweeted a screenshot of the Instagram post. Uh, which I went and read it myself, but I'm using their uh, tweet as a reference, so I wanted to give them a shout-out. Um, tweeted out a screenshot of the Instagram post, like I said, and uh, what, what, you know, everything that Jeremy uh, Padawire, whatever, I'm not good at names, Jeremy said in the Instagram post, um, So he j and he was just kind of, you know, talking about a few things regarding the UFC action figure line, so I'm going to run it down for you, um, I'll read it for you, and then, um, you know, like I, like I did with the uh, list of uh, inclu includes, description, whatever can't talk right now, um, like I did with that, and then uh, we'll talk about it after, so, I'll grab the microphone here, um, so here we go, so this is all from, like I said, the Instagram post, um, from, I'm just gonna say at Jeremy Com. not gonna try to say his last name, but from Jazzwares, or wherever, 
Um, so it's uh, the the picture of of that he posted on Instagram is of that leaked Conor McGregor action figure from all those months ago that I've been talking about. So that's just just so you have uh, some background on it, I guess. So here here's what he said. It said uh, this leaked. So let's talk about it. Leaked months ago, but whatever. Um, so here we go. There will be a series one wave drop of UFC entitled uh, quote unquote Ultimate Series. It's going to be unusually rare. Got my attention right there. Uh, series 1 is a really dark wave. It's roughly the equivalent of a beta product drop. Uh, and here's why. We, uh, it says, 1. We are celebrating an unusual scale in Ultimate Series. It's approximately 15% smaller than the traditional fight figures. More like the type of figures you would see coming out of Japan. Not really sure what figures he's referencing when he says coming out of Japan. But that's just because I'm unfamiliar, so... Nothing wrong there. Um, number two, this is a one-time only scale for the mainline product. Number three, these are hand sculpted, or excuse me, hand sculpted versus scanned, meaning I obviously the face scans, uh, and I mean I guess the and the body scans too. But yeah, so these are hand sculpted versus uh, scanned. Why? Originally, the UFC product was going to all be scale was going to all be this scale, excuse me. Truth is, after much consideration and as cool as the uh, quote-unquote international scale can be, the Go Forward product is going to be in scale with our other fight product, knowing that you have collected uh, this scale for 20 years. With that said, the Ultimate Series is going to be very cool. It's unusual, it's a limited edition, and uh, it will blow out. It's, he said, and in my... In my H... M I M H O. Usually, when it's I M O, it's in my opinion. Don't know what I M H O means. Somebody can inform me on that in the, in the comment section below. But will blow out. These these will be set at Walmart and available on Ringside Collectibles. So some pretty good information there. So let's talk about it. So uh, going back to the top, unusually rare, um, limited edition. So that's very interesting. Um, and I, I assume, you know, after reading this uh, through a couple of times, I assume unusually rare. And limited edition may not necessarily mean quantity it's just the style of figure because the style that we're going to be getting in series one isn't what they're going to be going to excuse me be running with for the remainder of the UFC uh, series I guess after this um, based off what he was saying um, it says that go forward product will be is going to be scale with our other fight product I assume that means similar to obviously they make other stuff but similar to AEW action figures so I guess yeah, you can see the references already, um, or the, um, I don't know if references right there, the, um, the, the relate, the relatable things, I guess, um, between the UFC action figures and the AEW action figures, obviously, like I said, made by the same company, so you can see, you know, th things that are similar, and things are, you know, that are different, um, but I guess, you know, if you look at the Conor McGregor action figure and you look at an AEW action figure, I guess you're going to be seeing maybe more of an AEW style, uh, figure opposed to this the UFC style it's like I said is similar but still different so that's what I'm assuming you know and uh, like I said this was or like he said excuse me this is a uh, going to be a kind of a beta this is a beta product drop a dark wave um, and unusually rare and I guess you know all that means because of the way it's sculpted because of the way the figure like I said I'm just kind of picking apart what he's saying some of the stuff I say could be wrong could be uh, not necessarily correct but I think I'm pretty much getting the gist here. <laughs> if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But, you know, I'm just kind of picking apart, like I said. Um, just because I'm a UFC... Or just because I'm an action figure fan that's excited for these UFC action figure uh, releases. But anyway, um, back into this. Like, like I said, I don't know what he's talking about with the Japan figures. That's just that's not because um, he said something out of the order. It's just because I'm not familiar. So that's fine. Um, he said, it's approximately 15% smaller than the traditional fight figures. Um, which I, I assume that means these are 15% smaller than their AEW figures. I don't know. I mean, I, I know a lot of figures are six inch um, for the most part. I mean, even like Star Wars is uh, WWE. I pretty I think it's pretty much six inch. I believe AEW is as well. So maybe that's what he means. Maybe these are going to be a little less than that. Um, I don't know. Again, just pick, depicting things apart. Um, he says this is a one-time only scale for the mainline product. So I guess the like I kind of been saying the scale that we are going to be getting for series one isn't going to be the scale moving forward after that so who knows what these figures are what's going to be changed up and what these things are going to look like in series two three four and moving on just have to see um these are hand sculpted versus scanned which is interesting because obviously 
more often than not, a lot of companies are doing scans, uh, especially obviously WWE and AEW when it comes to the wrestling figures, um, are doing scans opposed to just uh, created sculpts. So that's very interesting as well. Obviously, a lot of people like scans because you get the more authenticity of the people, whether it's through the face or the body or whatever. But like you said, these are hand sculpted. Um, and I don't know if that's going to be uh, what they're going to be doing the whole way through, but I assume, based off what he's saying, that should be the hand sculpted versions or just for series one and maybe moving forward they're going to be scanned but uh, i don't know i'm just guessing um to read this back one more time just so i can inf reinform myself and then talk about it um the originally the ufc product was going to be all the scale truth is as much consideration as cool as the international scale can be the go forward product is going to be on scale to other front yeah so uh, yeah i assume that he was really just kind of uh being transparent here um, to talk about the UFC figures, because obviously, like I said, there really hasn't been much information about them. After that Connor got leaked back at Toy Fair, there was nothing up until a few days ago. So, you know, as being one of the main guys, I guess, producing these figures, um, in charge, whatever you want to say, I guess you just wanted to kind of put out some more info, put out, uh, you know, just some details, be, like I said, transparent with the people who are going to be buying, which I really like, you know, about... Uh, that would just I just really like that you know they would do that uh, and not and not trying to make a shot at Mattel or you know anybody that works there but sometimes you really don't get that with a lot of companies in general so you know him coming out and just saying some of these things just to inform people who may not even have been asking you know is is really cool so commend him for that but you know j just some basic honestly just some more ideas some more details um and just some more knowledge uh, around these UFC figures what he really gave us and then add that in with you know, the stuff that we know is going to be coming with these figures, um, with, you know, not even just Wave 1, but just moving forward, um, we, we were finally able to get some more details regarding the UFC figures this week, so, in my opinion, um, even though a lot of people out there, like, I was tons of people out there who was like, I'm not pre-order until I see what these figures look like, and I, I understand that, but I think, uh, I think they're going to be, in my opinion, be very good figures, I think, and I, tr I, based off what the Connor looks like, based off the details we got of what they're going to possibly look like moving forward, um, and based off the, uh, I, honestly, the effort that I can, in my opinion, it seems like the Jazz Wares are just going to be putting into these figures, that's, they're, they're checking three boxes as far as I'm concerned, like, of, of everything I just said, like, there's no reason, I will say there's no reason, again, I can get why some people out there would want to see what these figures look like before they spend money on them, again, I, I, I understand, that's fine, but, uh, to, to me, seeing what the Connor looks like, seeing, uh, what they're most likely going to look like in the future, like, you know, possibly similar to the AEW figures, and, uh, seeing just the hard work that they seem to be putting into AEW, UFC, and whatever else that they're doing, uh, but obviously there's the two figures, uh, lines that I'll be collecting that I'm paying attention to, um, just three commendable, interesting things, and those are three things that, in my opinion, are just like, you know what, I don't know what these figures look like yet, but through those three, through those three things, excuse me, I trust you, and I think these figures are gonna be really good, so that's why I had no problem, in my opinion, and I'm kinda going off at a tangent here, but that's why I personally had no problem pre-ordering some figures this week, I only pre-ordered four of them, um, for now, I'll probably get the rest of them after the weekend or something, I just wanna didn't want to spend a hundred and sixty dollars or whatever to be, whatever it would have been um at one time on ringside um but i don't know man we got some more details on the ufc figures i'm very excited um like i said this is just some knowledge some more details at the end of the day we don't know what the figures look like yet and uh we haven't really had much details over the last few months so it was nice to just get some stuff this week um they went up for pre-order we know who's going to be in wave one it's a really pretty stacked lineup um, and unfortunately it sucks because no matter who they put in that lineup, people are going to complain like, oh, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Um, uh, but obviously people are going to be coming eventually. Um, I, I think they put some of the biggest names in UFC out in this first line. So, and obviously there's plenty more. Um, I'm really looking forward to a Nate Diaz figure. I know that sounds, uh, that's, that might be random. There's probably other names. I mean, obviously that's a big name, but there's probably other names that people want over him, but I'm just looking forward to that. Um, but I don't know, man. I'm just going off on a little tangent, but overall, excuse me, these UFC figures, I'm very excited. We got more details this week. We have an idea of what they're going to look like, and I can't wait. So, if you're watching this clip back on YouTube, or if you are listening to the podcast, let me and you're interested in the UFC action figures, let me know in the comment section below. Um, just some thoughts on the UFC action figures, honestly. Who you look, who you want in the future, who you pre-ordered if you did, um, your thoughts on any of the details, the knowledge that we learned this week. And uh, just sort of your thoughts on what the UFC action figure line could be in the future. I don't know. Just going off a little tangent there. But that was kind of all the information I wanted to, uh, I guess, relay, portray, and... Uh
dissect them a little bit. <laughs>